I'm Marina. I'm Jesse. I'm Jerry, and welcome to Neighborhood Nature. Hi, scientists. Today we are at Heron's Head Park, and we are looking for great blue herons. This park is located in the southeast corner of SF. Can you guess why this park is named after this bird? That's right. It looks just like the head of a heron. Great blue herons are mostly found in wetland habitats, but can be found close to any source of water. They like to nest and sleep in trees alongside its water source. These birds live next to water because they love to eat fish. They will also eat small rodents, amphibians, reptiles, birds, insects, and really anything that's small and available in the habitat. They are not picky. Did you know that the wingspan of a great blue heron is usually around six feet? Wow, what a huge wingspan. That is the same distance it is recommended to stand away from people to stay safe during COVID-19. Practice staying one great blue heron's arm length apart while in public spaces. Hey Marina, do you know what time it is? Park facts! Before Heron's Head Park was an official park, it was called Pier 98. It was a location that was supposed to be for ships to load and unload goods. Because this plan never went through, the space slowly became a salt marsh over time and a popular spot for birds and other animals. Eventually, there was a new plan to restore and preserve the salt marsh. This plan was to create Heron's Head Park. The park is now home to more than 100 kinds of birds and is one of the best hikes with kids in the Bay Area. What is the wingspan of an adult great blue heron? Is it A, three feet? B, six inches, C, six feet, or D, 12 feet? The answer is C, six feet. Don't forget to bring your science notebook next time you visit a park near you. You can practice using your senses to observe the world around you and practice using your ABCs of scientific drawing to record what you find. And remember to respect the home of the plants and animals that live in your park by staying on designated trails. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Catch us next time on Neighborhood Nature.